Hey everyone, my name is Malika and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my video once again. Um, if you haven't noticed, I created my YouTube channel to dedicate it to pretty, pretty much um, spreading awareness of sickle cell anemia and avascular necrosis. And I've done quite a few videos on my YouTube channel, but if you notice, I've never done a video yet about what sickle cell anemia is. Um, at first I didn't do it yet because I didn't feel comfortable, I didn't feel confident in explaining it. I just didn't feel comfortable explaining it unless I knew every single detail about it. And up to now, I honestly don't know every single detail about it. I'm still learning about sickle cell anemia every single day. Um, but I feel like I know enough to make a video about what it is and the general senses of what sickle cell anemia is so let's get straight into this video now what is sickle cell anemia so sickle cell anemia is a blood disease in which the red blood cells are mutated into a sickle cell form now red blood cells contain a protein called hemoglobin and a hemoglobin job is to carry oxygen throughout the body a normal red blood cell is the shape of a donut but without a hole and it's flexible enough to move throughout large and small vessels very easily. As opposed to a sickle cell, it because of its shape, it's sticky and it's very rigid, so it doesn't flow through vessels very easily. It can get caught and it can cause blockage, which results to the slowing down of blood flow, or it can even stop blood flow. And when that happens, it causes a lot of pain. Now, earlier I said, you know, red blood cells carry hemoglobin and that job is to carry oxygen throughout the body. Now with sickle cell anemia, if the blood cells are getting caught and it can't pass through, the tissues and organs that it's supposed to go to are not getting the oxygen and cells that it needs to get. So not only does it cause a lot of pain when it causes that blockage, but it is damaging tissue and organs. Now, um, there are a lot of complications with sickle cell anemia. I'm going to probably include it somewhere in this video. But for now, I'm going to continue talking about sickle cell anemia. So, normal red blood cells live between 90 to 120 days. As opposed to sickle cell anemia, our cells live between 10 to 20 days. So our body has a hard time keeping up with making new cells. And that's the reason why we're anemic because our blood count is very low. So it's having a hard time making new blood cells. And that's why we're anemic and we may have low energy. I said sickle cell anemia has tons and tons of complications. Not every sickle cell person is going to go through these complications. Everyone is different. Now, um, I don't know if I'm going to do this video like a fact because there's very, there are frequent questions that I'm asked when, um, when someone finds out that I have sickle cell. So I'm going to kind of go through that right now. So I already kind of covered on what sickle cell anemia is. I hope that my explanation was clear and you guys were able to understand a bit of what sickle cell anemia is and um you know what it, what it's about and um basically what it's about now if you want a full in-depth like anatomy about sickle cell anemia where as far as the chromosomes and all those things i'm going to link another video down below in my description box you can click on that video and it's going to give you an yeah, even more thorough thorough like biology kind of explanation about sickle cell anemia now another question that i often get or a lot of sickle cell patients get is is sickle cell anemia contagious no it is not contagious no it is not contagious you cannot catch it like a cough or sorry not a cough but like a cold or a flu or anything like that it is not contagious it is an inherited disease that you get from both of your parents so yeah, it is not contagious. Another question is, do I take medication? I don't take medication. Um, many sickle cell patients do take medication. Just to name a few, um, one of the main ones is hydroxyurea. Um, I believe Jandu, 
even flow um folic acid that's what i take so i take folic acid and what folic acid does is it helps create new blood cells in my body another question that you know i get and um i usually get this question actually from doctors and nurses and honestly coming from a sickle cell um patient's point of view a lot of sickle cell um people out there i believe feel the same way and a lot of times when we go to the hospital doctors and, and or nurses would ask us when were you diagnosed with sickle cell anemia and we kind of get frustrated when we're asked that not not from people that just don't know but from doctors and nurses because we feel like they should know this but we're diagnosed from birth like i said it's an inherited disease that we get from our parents so we get it from birth other question is what are the causes of these pains now almost anything can cause these pains from basically like if you're already sick like if you have infection in the body that can cause a sickle cell crisis which is the pains that we would get um temperature changes can cause a sickle cell crisis stress can cause a sickle cell crisis um altitude so if you're flying and you know how high you are that could cause a sickle cell crisis um dehydration is one of the number one ways that it could trigger a crisis um mm -mm -mm, what else Pretty much overexertion can cause sickle can cause a sickle cell crisis. Um, so um, those are the causes of what can onset a sickle cell crisis. Now that's about it. I hope that I really covered as much as I could. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, comment it down in the comments box below, and um, I'll do my best to answer your question about sickle cell anemia. Also, um, thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Once again, I hope that this video was informative and helpful and that you probably learned something today. And that's about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.